So I made a video about this a while ago, talking about the fact that it looks like Bumblebee is probably a reboot. Now that I've seen the movie, and most of you probably have if you're clicking this because you want to know what the details are, let's talk about how it definitely has to be a reboot because nothing makes sense anymore. So those Transformers movies, uh, they start off basic enough with Transformers 1. And then by 2, it kind of loses its mind and it's like, you know, ancient aliens and all that, that was all Transformers. And by the last one, it's like, King Arthur, Transformers, Bumblebee was fighting Nazis, and all this stuff in World War II, and you're just like, what? And then, as Bumblebee shows us, Bumblebee's first arrival on Earth is during the 80s, during 1987. So, we have to scrub everything that they said in those other movies, right? Also due to the fact that Prime says he just discovered this planet that can sustain and that'll be their new home. That's Earth. Once again, that's contradicting everything we've known, right? At the same time, you're looking at Cybertron and the downfall of it, and then you go to the end of the movie. Here's Bumblebee. Here's Prime. I thought Prime didn't arrive until 2007 to meet Shia LaBeouf. Okay, so that's clearly a reboot. Wait, here's all these other pods landing. That's the Autobots. So clearly... That's other robots, right? Once again, nothing's matching up here. And at the same time, during the course of Bumblebee, we have John Cena's character, and they're at the Hoover Dam. I hope you're clicking the uh, everything here. And they're like, we've never known about these alien robots. What's power? If this is a continuation and in the same franchise, then... Megatron is literally three steps over. Like, I could open the door from the bathroom and be like, there's a giant robot. Hey! And what else breaks this is that the two Decepticons, they plug into the entire mainframe right next, like right in the Hoover Dam. They plug into the mainframe and they got access to everything on Earth going on. Are you telling me these robots are too stupid to be like, what's this Sector 7? When they're actually in Sector 7's headquarters because John Cena's thing says S7. So nothing matches up. It's clear as day, this is a reboot. I understand why they're saying it's not. That's the, that's the smart PR talk. You know, they're looking at us, they're going like, okay, so if people like the old one, they, they might show up for this one. So we don't want to tell them this is a reset of everything because that might turn them off. So it's smart marketing. But just the things I named are like a handful of things that tell you why. Now, if I'm to discuss realistically the opening on Cybertron, I'd have to break down every single Transformer and why everything that happens in this movie doesn't match up with anything that happens in any of the other ones. So, it's a reboot, whether you like it or not. We're just gonna wait till this movie hopefully succeeds where they tell us, yeah, this is gonna be a fresh start. The next one's gonna be set in like 88 or 89 or something and go along with it because nothing will match up. I mean, nothing matches up here, like at all.